Right now, Chase is a black vault here, an American black vault here. The black vault here is just fine. Right? Now, Chase, I had, I got Chase when he was probably about two weeks old. He was a rescue. He had, the same way how we get chicken box, birds get something called avian pox. Right? So Chase was very, very, very sick. He almost died. I had to like tube feed him, literally put a tube down his throat for like three times a day and feed him to make sure that he gets his nutrition. And I'll show you a picture of how sick he was, right? And as you can see, as a result of that sickness, he has a little deformed beak there. Chase, show him, show him to sub beak. Show him to sub beak there, boy. <laughs> yeah, you have a little beak. Look at there, look at there. And he has some scar in between his eyes. Alright, so Chase survived that. I like to call him my little miracle, you know, my little miracle baby. And Chase is very intelligent. Vultures, on the whole, are intelligent. Now, Chase is not no ordinary vulture. Chase, uh, these birds and I'm so noisy. Chase has a, an actual job. Yes, people, Chase wakes up every day and he goes to work and Chase's job is that he's an education ambassador and from the comments, if you read the comments on his previous video you would see the need for him to be an education ambassador because Chase goes to schools, he goes to public events you know, he goes out there and he meets the public and a lot of times people's first reaction when they see him is Hey Gida, they bring a cobo here. Where are they going with that thing? That thing's so nasty and it's disgusting and all of that. Hence the reason why we don't use that term cobo. Right? Cobo is actually a French term and when you translate it, it means a crow. This is not a crow. This is a black vulture. And people just never have nothing good to say about vultures. As, or as they like to call it, cobos. Right? Or they always have something disrespectful to say about cobo. Or they're always referring to all their family as a kobo, all their ex as a kobo, what kind of shipping is always be doing, right? But the sole purpose of Chase being an education ambassador is to let people know that without these birds, how, how are we going to clean up the environment, right? Because number one, the number one myth is that these, good, these birds are disgusting. That's, that's the furthest thing from the truth, right? Because these birds have evolved characteristics that will help them clean up the environment and, you know, still be healthy. Because you can't tell me you're going to eat a piece of meat that's probably infected with rabies or something, and then you're going to live to tell the story. No, that's not going to happen. 